What's good, what's good, what's good? It's the Mafia. It's time for that culture for the streets hosted by Mafia and Paint. Hit the like button. Ding the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Don't leave up about the traps you've been served. We got to get right on to it, even though it ain't Sunday. We got to talk about Pastor Bishop Lamar, man. You did wrong, dude. You did wrong. This is one of the reasons why I don't go to church. We Before we even get into the robbery, let me tell you how... So many things is wrong with this situation right here with this pastor getting robbed. And a lot of niggas don't explain this shit because they too much focusing on the robbery. Well, listen to this. Because the average church you go to, the average church you go to, the pastor don't have $400,000 worth of jewelry on, million dollars. Come on, bro. Okay, you got all of this. You got Bentleys, Rafes. You owning all these properties. Show me you helping your community, though. Show me you helping people pay their rent. Show me you can do, you really fixing things in your section, man, instead of showing me the money. Because first of all, that's already a red flag as a pastor for you to be out here stunting like a dope boy. That is not a common thing for a church pastor to be doing and pushing when you outside and you can't defer you from a dope boy that is not what a pastor supposed to de define for as church and god that's why you have to really be particular about who you put in them types of positions to be talking to your community because you can be misled that much most pastors go to a church be pastors in a church to gain that money, to pass that collection plate out and get all that money. They're not really there to give you the word of God like that. Because if it was more about God and not money, well, why are you driving off in a Rolls Royce? If you had to pay two, three hundred thousand for that, why could you have took half of that three hundred thousand and sprinkled that back onto the church? Because it was the church that paid for that. Let's just be real. The church always paid for the way that a pastor lived. And should you be taking care of a pastor just to hear him preach God to you when you can be at home by yourself with the TV turned down, everybody shutting the fuck up, Bible open, learning and interpreting the word of the of God yourself but instead we go to these churches get mis misled they pass the collection plate out 17 times church open from 7 to 7 o'clock in the evening you didn't gave out $1,700 before you left church then when you get home you praying to God that you can pay your bills when the pastor got all the money he going home counting the money like he just was in the trap all day selling drugs We got to straighten the church uh, arena out, too, because that shit is almost like a club for older folks. The pastor fucking everybody. We watching Creflo Dollars. We watching all these rich pastors live off the benefit of having support, but they're living like rappers. But at the end of the day, we watching more rappers give back to the community than pastors. And that don't make no sense because the pastor was really supposed to be for the community. A rapper don't always think straight. They street niggas. They, they wild up top. They off drugs sometimes. So when they get some money, you can, you can understand why they run off and forget to look back at where they come from sometimes. But to somebody that is a voice of a community, you trying to steer the community in the a right path to be, to to mislead people from their money. To sit in in for this is my personal opinion. To have a congregation that you speak in the word of God to consistently, a community believing in you, praying for you. Looking at you as the influence and the belief to be able to change our community some type of way. And to con them into buying into you so you can live better. It's not in the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible. That they say you have to pay the pastor for telling you about the word of God. You got to pay your tithes to God, not to the nigga telling you about God. Red flag. 
So it's kind of disrespectful every time he throw a sermon and all these folks coming from the projects and poverty stricken areas, giving him his last, they last only so he can ride off with it in a duffel, Louis duffel bag with $400,000 worth of jewelry on, drive his rape to a mansion, count it and laugh at all the other people in the church that's going back home to poverty. That's what that is right there. And I ain't condoning no violence, but I understand why them two niggas probably went in there and laid this flossy, flashy nigga down. What are you doing for them corners? And you can't even think about this one way. This nigga's a scammer, conniver, a fake pastor. I don't care what no nigga say. If you sitting in church with a half a million dollars worth of jury on, and there's people out in your congregation that need some shit, whether it's their car fixed. If their car ain't fixed, they might have problems coming to church. You should help them with that. You're the pastor. The church is supposed to support and help the community. As a church, the church is a village. They're supposed to help each other. you just taking the money away. If you're not helping people that really be needing help with that money, what are you really doing but flashiness? Somebody was supposed to come rob you, nigga. And you sitting on in church... Looking like Birdman. Motherfuckers looking at your gold and shit more than they listening to the word of God you preaching. Yeah, you know God was. But the chain glistening, the Rolly glistening, the bracelets glistening. You damn near got Birdman grill in your mouth. Like, come on, man. Who paying attention to the word when they paying attention to the flashiness? The kids in the church looking up to what you wearing. They don't care what you saying. You probably got the women in your congregation lusting over you because you looking like a dope boy, a bad boy turned to the preacher. Like, come on, man. There's so much about that whole situation that's mis misrepresent. It's, it's bad representation, man. And once again, that shit coming from us. It ain't like that was a white man sitting up in there with a Rolex on, $400,000 worth of gold on, telling us about God. It's our own people that be conniving us and scamming us out of the simplest, stupidest shit, man. Bishop LeBar, bro, you are an embarrassment to the church system. Religion. You using God to succeed and, 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 and monetize. And create gener generational wealth for your family. Because that shit ain't rubbing off on the families that you're taking the money from when you pass the collection plates out however many times you do in that big-ass church. Shit is absurd, man. That's why before I go to a church, and I got plenty of people in my family that are pastors and all that, but before I go to a church, I sit down on my sectional Cut the lights down, cut the TV off, put my phone on silence and read that Bible and interpret it myself before I let a fraud sit in front of a pedestal or whatever you want to call that they sit up, podium, and false preach narrative to me only for financial gain because I shouldn't have to pay you shit for you to tell me about what I should know about God. People need to wake up, man, because it's a lot of frost preachers outside and not just in the church. A nigga standing on in Manhattan trying to scam you out your money is the same as a nigga sitting in church talking to a whole bunch of people that come from the trenches and the struggle Talking them out their money. It's the same thing, man. Y'all hit that like button. Ding the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel, man. It's time for that. Culture for the Streets hosted by Mafia and Paint, man. Don't leave about the traps you've been served. And we serving every day.